Hey guys, so it is officially the first day of May, which means that I get to share with you all of the books that I plan to read this month. If you watched my wrap up, which I will link down below in case you haven't, you would see that I didn't have a great reading month in April. April was a lot more than I was expecting. There were some life changes and then the last week of the month I actually got strep throat, which I'm still on like the last day of antibiotics for. That was an experience. So yes. May is again going to be a crazy month. This time at least I'm anticipating everything that's going to happen. So on the 7th, next Monday, I start university classes again, which is exciting. And then on the 29th, I leave for New York with Carrie, which is amazing. And yeah, a lot of different work things in between and things that are going to keep me very busy, but I miss reading, I miss getting into it and all of that stuff. So. I am being ambitious again. I have 10 books that I want to read next month, but two of the classes that I'm going to be taking, I'm taking three. Two of them are English classes. One of them is just an English literature and then the other one is children's lit. So I don't have the syllabuses for those yet, so I don't know what the reading is going to look like for those. But if you're interested, I can do a separate video about that once I get it. But yeah, let's get right in. Also, I just finished making my bed and I have to leave for work in about 25 minutes, so I'm a little warm right now but I'm excited about these anyway. So as always, I'm going to start with the books that I want to read for a year -thon. So a -thon starts on Monday, the same day I start classes, and our theme is rereads. I think the challenge is to catch up or finish a series. Don't hold me to that, because I already got this month's theme mixed up with next month. So thank you to Carrie for reminding me that this theme is to reread. So from last month, I would like to reread Altered and Erased by Jennifer Rush. I enjoyed this series. I gave this book four stars and this one five when I read it like three years ago. If I reread the first one and it's not what I remembered it to be or I don't enjoy it, then I will just get rid of the series. I almost said DNF, which I guess I would be. But yes, that's my a year -thon plan. So I might vlog that week depending on how school goes. So I'll let you know. So then obviously, like I said, Reborn by Jennifer Rush, pulled that out of my TBR jar last month, as well as Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia. I really, really, really want to read this book, and I was really upset that my month just got very out of hand and I didn't have time to sit and start this, but it's gonna happen. If I don't read these two this month, then I will unhaul them. I have two books that I want to read for review this month for NutGalley, and I'm really hoping that this is the last time that either of these books are on my TBR. Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi, this one's already out, I need to read it. And Unraveling Oliver by Liz Nugent. Another one I've been holding on to for way too long, I need to read it. This month I will get to Restore Me by Tahara Mafi. This is probably the one that I'll start right after a year -thon because I just finished reading Ignite Me and everything came flooding back. It did take me a really, really, really long time to get through Ignite Me the second time. I didn't enjoy it any less, but because I had so much going on, Eventually I downloaded it as an ebook on my phone and that made it so much easier to read because I could read like chapters here and there throughout my day. But this is gonna happen. I need to know. I need to know. And then the last three are ones that I have recently accumulated and are 2018 releases. So the first one is Mapping the Bones by Jean Yolen. I think this is now the third month that this has been on one of my TBRs. I feel like this one's TBR is just catching up on my old ones. But uh, this one is a Holocaust novel, which is going to be super dark, and I don't know at what point in the month I'll read this. I should probably start it before school. Maybe I will. Maybe this is one that'll start in the next couple days. Another really dark one that I'm very excited for is Time Bomb by Joel Charbonneau. This is the author of The Testing, a series that I haven't read, but this is a young adult standalone novel about a school where a bomb goes off. So we follow... I don't remember how many teenagers, but they are all huddled together and they're not sure what their best plan of action is in order for survival. They don't know who set the bomb off, if there's more, what's going on, they don't know. So I think this is going to be thrilling, just in like the whodunit kind of situation. And I've read many books about school shootings, some that were done better than others, and I'm trying not to hold this one up too high, but because it's different being a bomber instead of a shooter, I'm interested. And then the last book that I hope to get to next month is In Her Skin by Kim Savage. This is one that I got last month and was in my April book haul. Um, so this is another young adult novel, but we follow a girl, I think named Jo? Yes, Jo. 
So she is a con artist and her latest heist is to impersonate a girl that's gone missing. So the girl's name is Vivian so she kind of weaves herself back into this grieving family and discovers all of these secrets about the family and I don't know. It seems like it's going to be a lot. I'm hoping it's not cliche but I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah, that was my very quick TBR because these were all books that I've talked about before. There wasn't really much I could say about them. So sorry about that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for your patience as I was kind of spacey last month, but I'm getting myself organized again. I am delving into my life planner and I've started my lifestyle blog back up, which will be linked down below. I'm going to revive my book blog once I start reading again. And yeah, I have so many things going on in my life, but I'm focusing on myself. And one of the things that I cherish the most is this channel and reading. So. I'm looking forward to committing myself back to it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you let me know what you'll be reading this month and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.